Well, tonight the I team looks into homeowners and condominium association fees. Residents can pay hundreds of dollars a month. And they often dispute how that money is spent. Senior investigative reporter Paula Bassan uncovers a troubling pattern of these associations struggling to manage obligations. The Maria States Condominiums in O'Fallon, Missouri, was once a haven for people like Nicolette I don't Flynn. Know. It's always been like that. It's where she started a family. It's very quiet and just peaceful. But now discontent brews among residents who feel betrayed by their condominium association, while they pay about $150 every month to keep it running. Where's the money going? That's what I want to know. I mean, they send us the yearly budget, but they don't tell us then at the end of the year what they spent it on. Many residents often pay monthly into condominium or homeowners associations. Money goes toward shared resources like building maintenance and utilities like trash removal. About one in six people in Missouri are part of one. These are the rotten stairs that we have told them that um, needed to be replaced. But she points to a litany of grievances, from neglected building and lawn care to unsalted icy pathways. I slipped and fell in the parking lot um, because they didn't properly salt. The latest headache, roofs that need repair after severe storm damage with hail the size of golf balls. Flynn thought it was the association's responsibility to make the fixes. Later, she learned she'd have to work with her insurance, paying around $4,000 out of pocket. It just upsets me knowing that I thought I was covered. So we went straight to the condominium association's president, Scott Cordham. Where is the money going? Well, most of it goes to insurance premiums. Insurance experts tell the I-team premiums have doubled and even quadrupled in our area over the last year. It's left many struggling to keep up with maintenance and repairs. In order to get an insurance policy we can afford without jacking everybody's uh, monthly dues up, we had to get a large deductible. Complaints here also focus on lack of transparency and oversight. Cordham argues he's been trying to keep people informed. Most of the time if people ask a question, we'll answer it. With nobody asking questions until now, I, I don't see any reason to bend over backwards. We got hold of the association's financial records. It shows a condominium association operating on what industry experts call a shoestring budget to keep costs low for residents. The downside, financial surprises down the road. Are these issues aggravating enough to make you want to leave? I've thought about it, but you have so much invested. Like, you can't just get up and just leave. It all comes as community associations deal with higher costs, like spiking insurance premiums, while residents demand, at the very least, transparency. For the I-Team, Paula Vassan, Five on Your Side. And if you have a tip for Paula, she wants to hear from you. Leave a voice message at 314-444-5231, or you can email her directly at pbassan at ksdk.com. All calls and correspondence will be kept confidential.